growth where you try to repair the problems that have come about because of the Federal Reserve and the tax system and the regulatory system, uh, when, when they take it over, they, they actually make things that much worse. But what else happens? When there's an easy credit system and this system of money that's uh, designed in secret by the Federal Reserve, guess who benefits from the bubbles? There's, there's the rich people on Wall Street and the people who run the mortgages, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the military industrial complex, the politicians. They all benefit by this creation of new money. And then, then, and then when the crisis comes, they say, oh, there's a depression coming, a depression is coming. So we have to bail out the people who are suffering. But what did they do? The Federal Reserve bailed out Goldman Sachs and the other banks and, and the military industrial complex. And then the whole pretense of why we have the entitlement system, give everybody a house, give everybody a free education and free medical care. Guess what happened to the middle class? The debt was dumped on the middle class. The debt was bought by the Federal Reserve, put in the Federal Reserve and into our Treasury. So the debt is on our heads now. And, 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 and this time, what happens to those that were supposedly, the system supposed to help, you know, give those free things to help people who might fall through the crack? They're the ones who lost their jobs. They're the ones who lost their houses. The middle class is shrinking. The middle class is poor. The characteristic of a free and prosperous society, which we had, we had the freest and most prosperous society at one time. And at that, at that time, we had the largest middle class and the wealthiest middle class ever. And that is not true. Even the wealth that you can see around the country today is based on debt. It, we're much, in much worse shape than we were in the Depression because there wasn't anything of the problems that we have internationally. We didn't owe foreigners $3 trillion. I mean, we're in hot close to a trillion dollars just to the Chinese. So our conditions are much worse. And they're depending on one thing, print more money. Bernanke's over in Europe tell them all the time, if you, if you can't handle your crisis, we stand ready. We stand ready to come to the rescue. Rescue the banks. The banks have bought up all this Greek debt. And because our banks are intertwined with their banks, he says we have to prop them up and we have to bail them out at your expense. And that is what's wrong with it. It's wrong because it's a badly flawed financial system, a monetary system, and it's a badly flawed economic system that we have where the government does nothing more than pass laws and try transferring wealth back and forth. We have to once again understand how free markets work, how sound money works, how limited taxation works, and limited amount of regulation. This is where the prosperity comes from. Will it be perfectly equal? No, it won't be. They're working on equality, equality of poverty. That, I say, we should have no part of. We want